Oh, Father in heaven, help me, save me, save me. Nach, 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 one. I have no idea what I should say. No words in the world can express my feelings. I can only cry out to you with a great and big to cry. I can only sigh and wail, yell, scream and howl. I'll raise my voice to God and cry. I'll raise my voice to God until he hears me. I raise my voice to God and scream. I raise my voice to God and plead. To you, O oh God, I cry, I play it with you, God. What profit is there in my blood if I go down to the pit? Will those acknowledge you or declare where your war war truth? Have pity on me, have mercy on me, help me and bring me to purify myself and genuinely keep your covenant. My eyes are yearning to witness your unbounded mercy and generosity. My hands are stretched out to appeal to you for kindness. As long as my soul is in with me, is is within me, I'll cry out to you. I'll cry out to you. I will wait for you to show me mercy, to show me mercy. Whether as your child or your servant, if I am your child. Oh, yeah, pity upon me as a father has pity on his children. And if I am your servant, my eyes are turned towards you until you show me mercy and release me from my prison and release me from my prison and release me from my prison and save me from violating your covenant, your covenant. Save my soul from destruction. From now on, guard me from going against the covenant in any way at all, whether with my hands, my legs, my eyes, or other senses, whether in thought, word, or deed. In all of them, let me be holy, pure, and clean. Of any infringement of the covenant, help me rectify all the damage I've done and bring me to keep the covenant perfectly on the level of the tzaddikim. This way I'll be able to rectify every single sin I've ever committed against you. The 365 prohibitions of the Torah correspond to the 365 arteries and veins of the body. Let me rectify everything by keeping the covenant which includes all the arteries and veins of the body and is the complete revenue. Hello? Nanach. Hello? Hello? Nanach. Uh huh. No, no. 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 Let me rectify everything by keeping the covenant which includes all the arteries and veins in the body and is a complete remedy. Help me purify all the blood in my 365 arteries and veins. Let me totally cleanse my blood of all the impurities I've caused by breaking the 365 prohibitions of the Torah. Loving God, remove all the stains I've caused to the Shino as it were, because of the floods of bad blood caused by my many sins. Oh, I have, I have cause. Oh, the shri. I have cause. The shri show me so much in pure blood. That she's gone into a deep exile. My sins have caused the shri to become separated from the Holy One 
blessed be ye. She has sat among the nations, she has found no rest. As it is written, Jerusalem transgressed, therefore she has become like a menstruating woman, like a menstruating woman. O oh, master of the universe, what, what can I say? God has found at my sin, I'm struck, I keep silent, I don't even say good things, and my pain is all the more acute, have mercy on me. For your sake, for the sake of the truth, Sadiqin, Achnachnachun, for the sake of your great name, and for the sake of the cry and roar of the holy and roar of the holy one, blessed be he and the Shekhino. Oh, yes, it is written, God rose from an eye and from his holy dwelling place. He lets forth his cry, he roars and roars over here, he is full. Over his precious Shechino, I am the one who sin, and he is bound in chains. Oh, and she too cries out bitterly in her terrible exile, which has so distanced her from her beloved. She cries out in a bay in her voice. Woe well, bitter tears, my head is heavy, my arm is heavy, I will be in room. Our poor souls, I will send. All our days and years have gone to waste. Oi, 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 oi. Our sins are the cause of all of this. She becomes solid by our sins. Her clothes are filthy with the stains of our sin. And he is what can I say? God of love. Whose vision is pure, good God, who does good to all a kind, a merciful God, do what you know is best to bring me to rectify all this as quickly as possible. I bring me to keep the covenant perfectly so that I will. Be able to make amends for all the damage I've caused. Pardon and forgive me for all my sins and awaken holy awareness within me as a source of purity and cleanliness that will refine, whiten and purify all the blood in all my three hundred and sixty-five arteries and veins until all the on they have suffered is put right. Help me inject healing. Help me inject healing. Remedies into even the narrowest of places where remedies cannot normally penetrate. Yeah, By keeping the covenant, help me send healing. To all those places until I can repair completely all the damage I've done. Loving God, help me, help me, and be with me. From now on, protect my clothes from every ever, from ever getting stained. You alone know the great blemish caused to the Shekhin herself in the upper world. one when a person fails to guard his clothes from stains and dirt. His clothes, clothes, he has own clothes, judge him for failing to protect them from I stand, but he, because of my many sins, I find it very hard to guard my clothes 
Yeah, 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 it stains. I find it impossible to keep my mind on them at all times. Especially when I'm studying Toyo. Or praying or going about my various other activities. My clothes get dirty without my noticing. It's my sins and jumbled thinking. That are the cause of all this as a result I find it impossible to protect my clothes properly and keep them clean and free of stains and dirt. Come to pray to you about all this, O God and God of my fathers, loving God who bestows goodness on the guilty. With wondrous miracles you answer us in righteousness, God of salvation, you... The confidence of all the ends of the earth and the far distant seas do awesome wonders for your name's sake and help me remember thee. And help me remember all this and remedy all this very quickly in my life. Then from now on, guard, let me guard the covenant perfectly. Help me awaken and elevate my mind and attain only wisdom and awareness so as to cleanse, my, cleanse myself of, all the, of, of the damage to the blood in my 365 arteries and veins corresponding to the 365 prohibitions of the Torah. Help me make amends for all the stains on my clothes caused by my past neglect. Forgive me for all the damage caused. From now on, help me and guard me from stumbling or sinning in any way. Let me take good care of my clothes in the future and treat them with respect and keep them clean. Don't let my clothes ever have any stain or dirt in them at all. Protect, protect both me and my clothes at all times. Let my body, my soul, and my clothes and garments be clean, pure, and holy at all times. From now on, on and forever. I send living waters from the source of life and set a wellspring of living waters flowing from the, from the whiteness of the holy brain. So as to purify the Shekhinah from her menstrual and cleanliness. I lift her up from her exile and restore her to her beloved in love, brotherhood and affection. I loving God, sprinkle us with these pure waters and cleanse us and our clothes of all our impurities. Fulfilling us the verse, and I will sprinkle upon you pure waters and you will be purified of all your impurities. And I will purify you of all your aberrations. Why not sins like snow and wool? As it is written, go please, and let us reason together, says the Shams. Even if your sins are crimson, they will be as white as snow. If they are as, as red as scarlet, they will be like wool. And let us fulfill the verse, at all times let your garments be white, and let not oil be lacking from upon your head. Loving God, be with me at all times, and, and guide and teach me how to conduct myself in speaking to other people. Let me never say a word that goes against your will in any way. Don't let me ever reveal a secret unnecessarily. Guard me from ever being a person who goes about as a tale bearer revealing secrets, for it is not at all clear which Torah teachings one may discuss publicly, which one and which of them is, a, is it is forbidden to reveal. As I have the secrets referred to in the ver verse, loving God, let me never transgress. Prohibition against going about as a tale-bearer, not when I say Torah, not when I discuss some day matters with other people. Be kind to me, be with my mouth when I speak. Don't let me ever say anything that goes against your will from now on and forever. <sighs> oh, you yeah, have mercy on me and grant me my livelihood from heaven before I need it. Grant me and my household. Oh, your bread to eat and clothes to wear too, and me to eat and be satisfied. <sighs> oh, you're my cold gang and took us around. Bread to eat and clothes to wear to eat and be satisfied. <sighs> bread to eat and clothes to wear to eat and be satisfied and be dressed in the choicest garments. Send me my livelihood without effort or exertion, honorably and without degradation, by permitted and not by prohibited means, easily and without pain from your full and generous hand. To let me be dependent on gifts alone from other people. For forty years you gave the Jewish people food and livelihood in the wilderness. You sent them money from heaven, and the clothes did not wear out. In the same way, have mercy on us now. Open up your treasury of goodness in heaven. Send us everything we need easily and in great abundance without our having to make any effort at all, at all. Keep me from worrying about my livelihood. Inspire me with the wisdom to trust in you at all times, and you in, and you in turn provide me with what I need from heaven for myself. My house so I'm going to send this in all that is mine, provide me with everything I require before I need it, so that I will always be able to immerse myself in Torah and prayer with my whole heart and soul. Don't let me be distracted in any way through, through worries about livelihood. And you alone, on you alone I throw my burden, on, on, and you will provide me with, with my needs as, it's written, as it is written. Cast your burden on God, and He will sustain you. Loving God, help me go about my business activities, faith, business activities faithfully. Guard me against taking anything that is not mine. Don't let me ever take anything belonging to someone else or without money owing to them or, or withhold money owing to them, not even the tiniest sum. Don't let me touch other people's money or possessions at all. Loving God, help me care about my, go about my business, my business activities faithfully. Guard me against taking anything that is not mine. Don't let me ever take anything belonging to someone else or with, without or withhold money owing, owed to them. Oh, withhold money owed to them. 
Don't let me ever take anything belonging to someone else or withhold on money owed to them, not even the tiniest sum. Don't let me touch other people's money or possessions at all. Don't let me covet anything belonging to my friends. In all my business activities, let my only intention be to serve you and give honor to your name. And every word and every word I say and every step I take in the course of my business, let my only intention be able to give charity and for the profit I make. Let this be my only purpose and desire in all my business activities that I shall be able to give charity from the profit. Help me remember this always and keep it in mind. Oh, with every step I take and every word I say and every moment and every moment I make in connection with my business, open my heart and help me keep to this. Let me always give plenty of charity to genuinely deserving people. Bless me with plenty and grant that I should be able to support people who turn who turn, turn and truly serve God. Let me fulfill the mitzvah of charity perfectly in you in the way you want, with an open heart and a kind expression on, on my face. Oh, with great joy and delight through the, through the charity I give. Help me elevate my my mind and accomplish a complete rem- remedy for, for remedy for business. Let this be oh, my way of making amends for all my sins and, and transgressions in business and through avarice and through avarice from my earliest days until today. Let the merit of charity only oh, protect me as an eagle stirs up his nest and yet hovers over his young. Atone for me and let me redeem my sins with my sins with charity. Through charity, let me come to the complete remedy. I have mercy upon us, upon us and upon the remnant of the Jewish people. Lift us up quickly from our terrible fall. We have descended lower and lower into the de- into the depths of this great exile, which has lasted for so many years now. It's an exile of the body and the soul on every level, material and spiritual. The whole people is in an exile, and so is every single one of us, master of the entire universe. You support the fallen, have pity on us, have pity on us, and support us, fulfilling us the verse. Rejoice not against me, rejoice not against me, my enemy. Although I have fallen, I will rise up. Although I sit in darkness, God is a light to me. I stretch forth your stretch forth your hands. From a one of I away in me and rescue me from my from many waters out of the end of strangers. Be kind to me and lift me up. My eyes are raised on high. Your hand will keep me firm. Your arm will strengthen me, release me, and lift me from the depths to which I've fallen. I'm so far from you. I'm so distant from your service. Loving God, have mercy on me. You know, you know that that we have no one to stand up for us now that we've fallen so low. It is written, she went down wondrously. She has no one to help her. He cast. He cast down the glory of Israel from heaven to earth, from the highest roof to the deepest pits. We have no one to stand up for us and lift us up from our fall except for you. Fulfill the prophecy as the rabbis explained. As the, as, as the rabbis explained it, she fell and will not fall anymore. And you, God, said to the Jewish people, rise up, made of Israel, have mercy on us, and help us elevate our minds and souls through true and complete observance of the covenant, protecting from from ever falling down against again in my efforts to serve you. Help me rise up. From the depths I've fallen up, fallen to until now, lift up the fallen tabernacle of David, master of the universe, stretch out my hands to you, lift me up and I will live. You cannot hide away from your, from your needy brother. Oh, you must surely help and lift him up, save and protect me, my children, my descendants, and all the Jewish people from ele- epilepsy. Don't let a single Jew ever suffer from this condition. Have mercy on all those who are afflicted with this bitter condition and lovingly send them perfect healing. Lift them up from their fall and restore their strength. Send them perfect healing from heaven very soon, spiritually and physically, for you, our God, oh, King, the compassionate and the faithful healer, have mercy on us and save my and save me, my children, and the whole Jewish people from all forms of drunkenness, whether from wine or other intoxicated in beverages and drugs don't let me ever become drunk you have revealed to us through your holy sages how damaging drunkenness is have mercy on me and save me from the excess of drinking that leads to drunkenness even on Shabbos and festivals let me drink in moderation and in great holiness and purity so as to elevate my mind and attain high levels of awareness for the sake of your name and your service except for I'm poor let me drink don't let a single word that is against you will ever leave my lips as a result of drinking wine or intoxicating beverages don't let me ever say a word about anything about anything that should be kept a secret let me speak only pure and holy words that are in accordance with your will, let me be truthful, joyous, and open-hearted. Don't let me ever come to drunkenness. Loving God, protect me from the wine that causes drunkenness, and let me only taste the wine that brings joy to, to God. Amen. Oh, you have, love, have mercy on me, loving God, and fulfill my request. Quick, quickly bring me to the complete remedy on every level. Observance of the covenant, which encompasses all the arteries and veins in the body, and is a complete remedy. For all the 365 prohibitions of the Torah, the complete remedy for speech through its speaking, through speaking in praise of the tzaddikim, the complete remedy for business through giving charity and keeping one's clothes clean, bringing me, bring me to all of this very quickly. 
you know that it is impossible for me. The complete remedy for speech through speaking in praise of the tzaddikim, the complete remedy for business through giving charity and keeping one's clothes clean. Bring me to all of this very quickly. You know that it is impossible for me to rectify everything individually because there are so many details and I've done so much damage. Have mercy on me and save me quickly for your name's sake. Loving, merciful God, bring us to the complete remedy on every level. Do it for your sake, for the sake of the true tzaddikim, and not for our sakes. Oh, you lift us up from the dust and raise us up from the scrap heap of our degradation. Heal us with all the remedies, general and particular. Satisfy us with your great goodness and hear and receive our cries, prayers, and requests. Purify and sanctify us in every way. And quickly fulfill the verse, I will cause you to go in my statutes and you will guard and keep my judgment kind and answer us and hear our prayers. For you lovingly hear the prayers of every single Jew. Blessed are you who hears prayer, who is prayer, who hears prayer. Blessed are you who is prayer, my holy daughter, you cushionly, but you cushionly let it is. Oman Oman Raj Oh, Peter, 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 Oman Peter, 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 Peter,